2020, who knew it would turn out the way it has? Many staying indoors and many vocalizing the need for change outdoors. It feels as though the world is against us. But that will not stop us. Now is the time for change. The struggles that black individuals face cannot be ignored any longer. Equality and safety is tranquil, calm, and every human deserves to feel that peace. Everyone deserves peace of mind when they are driving to work and walking home late at night. Living in fear the way many have is absolutely unacceptable. Preparing for devastation and the worst outcome is not how life should be lived. Now is the time to unite and fight because none of us should have to sit back and watch the pain these communities have been facing their entire lives waiting and hoping for change. We need to take action and do our part to help black communities. We can help by protesting physically or virtually, signing petitions, raising awareness, donating to the many funds available at the moment, stopping family members and correcting them when they are misinformed. Educate yourself, watch the wide variety of documentaries discussing the unfair treatment black people have faced their entire lives. Read about the struggles they have faced, vote when elections come, Young people and people of color must understand that their vote counts and their voices and demands need to be heard. 2020 may seem chaotic when we look at it, but I feel that we needed this. This could be the year that society will restart. Maybe we needed this time to work on ourselves and help the people around us. This year has been harsh and it is not even close to being over, but let's make it a year that will be looked back on in the future. It will be written in history books. Please choose to be on the right side of history. This will be the year of change. Black Lives Matter. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the intro that you just saw. Um, that was narrated by my best friend Zoe um, and written by her. And I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was really nice to incorporate this into my video, my next video actually. Um, considering with everything that's going on, um, it's really crazy out there right now at the moment. Uh, but like I keep saying, we are gonna push through this. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well out there, you know, so it's I wanted to upload this last week But I didn't want to um, stray everyone's uh, attention uh, Away from the Black Lives Matter movement and everything um, So I had just been kind of um, Getting my voice out there signing petitions and everything so I didn't want to um, Distract my followers and people who watch me from their attention from that and so but I thought I'd post it now all right, so update time. Um, it is June 10th, I believe. Um, I'm good. Uh, these past two weeks have been really, really something. It's chaotic, um, especially with um, everything that started with George Floyd's death in Minneapolis and the Black Lives Matter. Um, I am one with it. I am trying to get my voice out there. I've been signing petitions, donating, all that, and you should too. And if you think otherwise, then you should really educate yourself. Um, obviously, if you don't, and then you don't know um, what what black people have been facing for 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 hundreds of years, and you don't know all that, um, so you should really educate yourself on what's been going on and why it's going on. And so, yeah. So today's video, I'm going to be revisiting the Polaroid Sun 660 autofocus. Um, I know I shot with this um, back in February with my uh, video with Paige, my friend. Um, I did portraits of her while she was painting. So I want to revisit this camera again, but also show you guys um, uh, show you guys how I shoot with it. <laughs> so once again, I am going to be shooting with black and white, black frame edition iType film. And you're wondering, this is a 600 camera, this is iType film. 
Um, well, there's a little hack that I do, um, and a lot of people do it. Um, I know someone um, has been commenting how how I do it and show, tell, telling me to show you guys how I do it. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do this um, using iType film in a 600 camera or a 670 like I did in my last video. Um, so this is an empty film cartridge. Um, this is something that's done, you shot with the pack and you don't know what to do with it. Um, I think I said it before, but I recommend keeping your empty film packs, um, whether you're trying to do a hack like this, or if you're going out to um, thrift stores and finding cameras, um, Polaroid cameras, and you need something to test the camera with. Um, so I recommend always keeping um, your film packs. So there's an easy way to do this. I know I showed this in my last video. You want to strip down the battery, um, the battery pack into this, just the battery itself. Um, so I don't know um, if you guys don't want to do it because of safety reasons that's totally cool with me um, but as far as I know I've been doing this for quite a while and um, I'm perfectly fine so <laughs> so this is your battery pack um, the battery is inside on the bottom as you can see um, so the first thing you want to do is actually tear open this top portion right here where the, 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 the sticker is and so it's 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 made out of plastic so it's pretty easy to um, break open and so you want to grab the top portion right here where this tab is and you kind of want to just push it down I don't know if you can see it I'm pushing it down that part and I'm pushing forward to break it so that comes off open like this and you'll be easy to take out the the, the cartridge and you have the metal piece and the battery pack um, so this is what you're looking for you don't want to um, you don't want the, any of any of the other pieces, um, so you just dispose of those properly. And so now this is where it happens. So the thing is with eye type packs is there's actually some tabs at the bottom. This one doesn't have it because I already stripped it down. Um, but there's going to be a middle tab right here um, that's prevent that's going to prevent the, the the pack from getting into a 600 camera because there is I don't know if you can see it, but if you look in there. There's sort of like a metal piece that's like right here that's going to be preventing eye type film from getting into the camera. Um, so this um, plastic piece at the end of eye type film actually prevents that. Um, so if you want to like cut it off like I did, I use a knife to just kind of like go back and forth on these sides to, to get it off. And so you're going to want to do that. Uh, I can actually show you guys what it looks like. So actually I couldn't find any more eye type packs that, that I haven't cut off the, the tip with. Um, but I, I can ensure you that it's going to be right here and you're just going to want to take that off um, either just like I said with a knife um, and so once you've done that um, you got the eye type pack ready um, yeah so suppose this was uh, just a new pack of film that you that you've got uh, so you already cut off the, the plastic piece and you've already uh, taken apart the battery so it is going to be a little difficult um, if you were just if you were to just put the eye type film like this along with the battery pack on the bottom side um, it would be a little difficult like that um, if you're wanting to easy access of opening the film door and just taking out the film. Um, I did I I done it and it, it is takes like a really like a like a lot of force to get that film pack out. Um, so I probably wouldn't recommend I wouldn't recommend that. But what I do recommend is like I said getting it to this state to just the battery itself. Um, and so where did I put it? All right, so you're just probably just gonna need a pair of scissors. That's what I use to cut my film packs. Um, so you see this little part, you see that there's two layers to it. Um, you're going to kind of want to cut off this end right here, that part. And it, it is, and then um, you'll see that it's two different layers and you'll want to, oh, I didn't cut it. Um, you're going to want to cut these two layers right here, like that. Um, and you're going to see that it's two different pieces and you're just going to want to try and separate them. I usually do it with the scissor. And so now you can take it apart like this. And there you have it. So you're exposing the battery. Um, for me, I haven't gotten hurt so far, so I think it's pretty okay. <laughs> so there's going to be a little adhesive layer on the bottom in between the, the, the paper and the battery but if you can see, I'm trying to pull it back and it's really sticky. Um, I recommend just doing it really carefully um, so you don't damage the, the battery pack, um, just, to, just for safety reasons. And so once you've done that, just carefully pull it back like I'm going right now. 
like that. There you have it. Okay, so once you got it like that, um, you want to cut off this part. Cut off as much as much as possible as you can. Um, there is going to be these metal pieces behind this tape right here, and so you don't want to cut that. So usually I like to cut off right where the lettering ends, somewhere about right there. Yeah, so somewhere around right there, so you have these, this piece. Um, and I think from here, you're pretty much set to go, unless you want to kind of shave it down a bit on these sides. This whole part right here, shave it off, um, just so it's easier. So I'm actually going to do that. And there is going to be some metal pieces you just want to watch out for, make sure not to cut through them. And so you're just shaving it off, or shaving it down a bit so it'd be easier. And then... I think that's pretty much it and so now you have the battery itself like this and I think um, this one I, I, I tried cutting it down to the to, on the corners but I don't, I don't think it really matters and so now you're just left with this so you have your battery and I usually I, I just like to lay it on top where the um, contacts are and so you just usually get to line it up with it and it's generally just lining it up in the middle of the camera um, inside inside of it actually just lining it up in the middle and so I have it like that and so now you take your eye type film no battery and you just insert it and you just have to use a little force sometimes you get to use a little force once you hear that click your film is all in the back and now you just close the camera and so now you're using eye type film inside a 600 camera so just to show it again, you know the eye type film. The eye type film is in here, and so you just take a picture. I don't know if to flash actually. And so yeah, that's pretty cool. A little hack. You can also do it with S670 cameras. All right. So now I'm just gonna insert the eye type film into the 600 camera. All right. And so here we have it. Black and white black frame eye type film, which is also one of my favorite films with the black frames. And I like it so far. All right, so you're just doing the same thing, making sure it's lined up in the back. I'm um, not in the back, but you know, just laying it up with the with the contacts. And so now you take your eye type film, no battery, insert it, making sure it's all the way in the back. You may have to use a little force again. Click it, and now you're ready. So eye type film in 600. So yay. Um, oh, I forgot to mention that since the iType film and the 600 film both have the same ISO, um, it should be good with the 600 camera. Um, since they're the same ISO, so I, don't, I don't really need to do anything special. I don't need an ND filter over the, the top. Um, but I just, like I said, I do like to underexpose just a bit. All right, so here's my second shot. I've only shot two, one out of the eight. Um, I have my Polaroid Sun 660 autofocus system. Um, like I said, using the iType film without the battery. So Zoe, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ready? Yeah. Three, two. I hope I didn't work. It's fine. All right, so hopefully by the bad quality, you guys can see this. So this is like the little canyon area I was talking about. I'm gonna take, take a picture of it. Hopefully it'll get on film. I don't usually shoot, um, how would I say it, landscape? Or well, I do, but not anything like this in particular. So hopefully it'll fall off. Yeah. Let's get a picture of this nice, beautiful landscape of the whatever, the sky. What? You see those shoes? Those are looking mighty fine. <laughs> Yeah, sure. 
Second shot, or I don't really know what shot this is, but it's a shot. Three, two, one. Shot. Yeah, it's right. It's black and white film, by the way. Oh, that looks cool. With black frames. Glass queen. Alright, for my last shot, I'm just going to get another picture of this beautiful landscape. It's really nice out here, especially when there's no houses around. Well, there's houses over there, but yeah. And that's all the pictures. And I'm going to have to wait to scan these when I get home. Probably won't be for a while. Um, so yeah, some of the photos didn't come out too well, uh, but the five that did come out um, were nice. Um, I, my favorite one would be the one with Zoe. Um, I took her portrait, that one's really nice. I like it a lot. Um, that's basically pretty much it for this video. I'm not gonna really talk too much. Um, you know, I, you guys pretty know, you guys know the drill. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, so yeah, I really guys hope you liked me shooting with the Polaroid 660. Um, I will pick this up again, uh, maybe later on, but for now, um, I believe my next video I wanna do um, pick up the Spectre again because I got three packs from Retrospect. Um, I believe they're the 519 packs from last year and I believe that th those packs were the ones that were really, really nice. Um, so I, I'll get working on that as soon as I can and get that out. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Show your friends, people who like Polaroid photography. Um, so that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.